What's up, guys? It is Jack and Jeff from AchievementHunter.com doing some more Dante's Inferno item walkthroughs. We know you love these. We're doing greed. Do you really know they love them? I think they do. Oh, that's good. They're greedy for them. Oh, hey. Uh, <laughs> oh, dude. So this is right oh, at the start wow. of greed. Uh, we're going to climb up on this ledge after jumping down a few times. and Speaking then. Speaking um, of greed, it looks like there's gold or something in the walls yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Dude, it's like, uh, is that what is it, pyrite? Is that the fake gold? Is that what it is? You think I don't know, pyrite? it might actually be real gold, but... You know, what What good is gold in hell? Oh, you think well, is, I mean, is, what are you the, plan, is, is he planning on staying in hell forever? Is that a commodity? Like, could you actually use gold in hell to get you anything? Like, I don't know. Huh, that'd you be could, interesting. You could, like, use it to bronze souls, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dip a soul in, you know, hang it from your every mirror. Hey, that was Judas coin. And nice. then uh, this one, okay, this is actually a pretty tricky damned person. So you got to get up on this little spinning wheel and then jump around yeah. that other wheel. And that's that's actually tricky. A lot of people, um, or I know, I, I've, I've seen someone say he had trouble with it. So that's how you do it. All right, well, there you go. This is shortly thereafter. We're going to get another Judas coin. Do it. Yeah, right bumper, then hit B. That's fantastic, dude. You, you like that? Great job. Boom. Yeah. Look at that. That's crazy. And then we're going to get another relic oh, shortly after that. This one's tricky because you have to get up here in time before that thing like uh -huh. uh, guillotines you and then jump to the right and then keep jumping. And look, there's a relic. There's a demon dog, Rick Moranis. What, how do you think he got there? He was like... I don't know. It's a nice little nook. Maybe yeah, he's like, you thought I he was just, safe? I want to get away from the fray and just relax <laughs> and <laughs> just, contemplate just my chill eternal out and yeah, damnation. I'm just going to hang out in this hole in the wall. Yeah. So after okay, this little spinning wheel thing, you drop down, you kill some guys. Once you kill some guys, on the far right is another Judas coin. Oh, thank God. Yeah, I know. We have plenty of Judas coins now. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah. What are you doing there? You're throwing, you're putting your... It's like a cross and you're cross breaking the... the holy I don't know. Water? I'm not sure. So uh, still in that room, just past the door you have to go through is another uh, damned over here. I'm going to give them a little hello, a little chokey choke. That's, oh, that's guess, a, guess that, he is. That's a dude that time. Yeah. Then once you pull this lever, it's going to stop that wheel behind you, and then this gate opens up, and there's a relic, and we have to go back and jump and grab it. Don't forget... Oh, is it? Yeah. There's you a lot of backtracking for relics in this game. Like, it's one of those things you have to keep your eyes open. You really do what you got to do, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that means. That's, that's some good, good, good advice. Just was, in general. That was wasted gold. I don't know if you saw that. Dude, Virgil's everywhere. Yeah, he is. He's just chilling. He gets around. Yeah. So uh, once you talk to him here, instead of going up, we're going to go right, and then there's actually a Judas coin and a relic down here. So there's a Judas coin here, and the next one will be a relic. Oh, nice. How yeah. convenient. I know. It's awful nice when they put them side by side like that. Yeah. Makes work a lot easier. I guess it does. <laughs> so, this is 19 of 31 relics. There's a whole lot of, of uh, collectibles in this game. How many are there total? Do you have any idea? There are 31 relics, 27 damned, and 30 Judas coins, and 3 Beatrice stones. Quick, what does that equal? 314. That's 60... Uh, what is it, 67? No. Too late. 129. No, that's not right. 90-something? I don't know. What did I say? 30? I don't know. <laughs> so, okay, we aim this fire pit thing to the right, and then we're going to shoot out a giant rock and then uh, climb on top of it and get another Judas coin. I had, uh, this is kind of embarrassing, but I had uh, enchiladas on Sunday morning, yeah. and I shot out a giant rock last night. <laughs> it was, wow. Yeah. It was a whole thing. That is embarrassing. Were, were you in hell? What ring of hell would that have been? That would be Would that be in, gluttony? Yeah, that would be in the uh, refried, yeah, the brown <laughs> ring of hell. <laughs> That's in treachery. That's the lowest ring of hell. There we go. We got another coin. Oh, thank God. I know. Look at all this gold, man. This is, this is actually a pretty cool level. Yeah, it's really it's uh, aesthetic. Like, yeah, the uh, the visual design of this game is, is pretty nuts. You know what Fulvio rhymes with? No. I don't know either. I was hoping, I was kind of counting on you <laughs> to know. All right, that last one was after you beat uh, Ali Garo, you get his relic, and then just past him on the left side is another relic before we go down to the next level. This is the last one in the level. Are you excited? We're moving on. I'm pretty excited. Yay! All Dude, this I, energy. Yeah. 